okay before starting fitting corrosion we should know about the concentration cell and that we have also discussed in concentration cell corrosion or uh, differential adhesion corrosion in case of concentration cell the emf is going to be positive only when the concentration of cathodic electrolyte is greater than the concentration of anodic electrolyte in the same way in case of uh, differential adhesion corrosion the metal which is immersed in water is surrounded by less oxygen and the part which is outside the water is surrounded by more number of oxygen so the same metal which is surrounded by lesser number of oxygen will behave as anode and the part which is surrounded by more number of oxygen will act as cathode so in that case the metal which is dipped started acting as anode and that's why this leads to the corrosion that was concentration cell corrosion but in case of pitting corrosion uh, it is diff a bit different from the differential adhesion corrosion because in this case the metal is not dipped in any electrolyte so what happened in this case then if there is a scratch on the metal so that a scratch behave as a pit or that behave as a trough right so uh, in that trough or in that pit in that pit you can see i mean this 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 part right this is a pit so in since and this pit is also occupied by some dust or maybe some chloride impurities in fact chloride impurities is responsible for this kind of corrosion so when in in this area you can see and these area what is the difference between these two area this area is directly exposed to the oxygen but this area is very less exposed to oxygen because some of the space of this part is occupied by soil dust and uh, uh, maybe oxide and uh, uh, chloride right so what will happen in this part in what will happen to this part now we have already uh, discussed because now this part is exposed to the same metal is exposed to lesser number of oxygen and this part is exposed to more number of oxygen so within the same metal the spit part will behave as anode and this part will behave as cathode so what will happen since this is acting as anode so corrosion will happen inside this pit so with time more and more corrosion will take place inside this pit so with time the size of this pit will be increasing 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 and finally what will happen this will lead to the break and finally this will be cut into two pieces so that is what pitting corrosion so this these are some of the methods by which we can prevent this corrosion see the problem is there is a pit and that pit is the responsible for this corrosion so in any case we have to avoid the pits and that is only possible by you know preparing surface with best possible finish so that there is no pit on it second by removing all the impurities especially chloride similarly we will have to design the iron or the metallic piece in such a way that is having very less number of bends and joints because those bends and joints can act as a pit right so that is all about the pitting corrosion